What the? Ooh, I can hear her. Oh yeah, they're not scary at all. They're perfect for me. I hate that stuff. I'm like the opposite Resident Evil fan. Oh! I don't even know. This could be straight from hell. You could tell. <laughs> Even that actually isn't even that scary. Uh, so. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. How do you pack hundreds of years of racism, sexism, and misogyny into just four letters? C-U-C-K. Let's just go straight to the examples, because your examples are just bullshit. Cuckoo birds commonly lay their eggs in other birds' nests and leave them there to be raised. How in the fuck does this demonstrate racism or sexism when a fucking word comes directly from a cuckoo bird? From cuckoo came cuckold, which literally means a man whose wife has slept with another man and then raises a child who is not his. Can you please tell me, again, how is this sexist and racist if a guy allows another guy to fuck his wife? If the woman actually consented to having sex with a guy, then what is the big fucking problem? Cuckolds were a staple in English literature. Shakespeare loved to use men's fear of becoming a cuckold as a plot point. Except the main character of that story was black. So again, how the hell is this racist? Cuckolds even happen in rap music. Take Kanye West's Gold Digger. 18 years, 18 years, and on her 18th birthday, he found out it wasn't his. At this point, I'm gonna repeat myself again, and again, and again, and again, until you get it through your stick skull that people get cucked no matter what race they are. That is not racist, that is not sexist. You lose, you lost a plot here. Over time, the shortened version of the word cuck became more common. And that's likely because of two of America's favorite pastimes, racism and pornography. All this time, I thought that America's favorite pastime was baseball, not some sort of KKK rally. Cuckold, or cuck, became used to refer to a genre of porn where husbands, usually white, watch their wives have sex with another man, usually black. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Like... Are you telling me right now that black guys screwing over white women is a form of fucking racism? If the guy was really racist, he probably would not share his fucking wife to the black guy. Not only is she cheating on you, but she's cheating with a man who's perceived as racially inferior. Uh, who is fucking thinking this way. Like, why would a white guy allow a black guy to bang his wife if he thought that he was racially inferior? You're not making much sense there. I'm kind of curious on whether or not Fanny considers herself racially inferior to her husband then. Now, if you really want to know where the modern usage of cuck comes from, remember that pickup artist scene from the early 2000s? That mystery guy? Men giving tips to other men to pick up girls is not inherently sexist. There are some men who have no confidence to pick up women without guidance. What is so sexist to teach men to get advice to pick up girls? Women do the exact same thing for picking up guys, yet somehow you're not calling out the woman for that action. Being taught to respect women is referred to as betafying, and a beta is also often referred to as, you guessed it, a cuck. Yeah, I'm just uh, pretty sure that men cannot be dominant while also be respectful. That's not possible. But is it even an effective insult? Maybe, if upholding white supremacy and hypermasculinity is important to you. What about people who are not white supremacists who use the word cuck? Cuck becomes a lot less powerful when you realize its racist and sexist origins. And yet again, your examples did not prove jack shit. 
I am just so fucking done! It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.